days, I walk out the door without it. <laughs> Hard to believe that William would have been 38 years old today. Yeah, 38. Yeah, it's, it's Awareness Day and William's birthday, but... Uh, Anyway, I, th I think this will be enough candles for Great. all of us. I Thank forgot you. to tell you that uh, Vicky called. Uh, Where from, the airport? No, from the plane. She's on her way to Los Angeles to see Tina. She just wanted you to know that uh, she really is going to miss being here. We're, we're going to miss her, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what happened to Marty. Did I hear my name? Well, oh, hey. hey. <laughs> oh, thanks. Listen, I hope you don't mind, but I invited along a couple of friends. A couple of old friends. Billy! Billy Douglas! <laughs> Billy, I'm sure you don't mind. Mine, no, you should be here. You look good. This is great. This is just great. You it's too. always good you to see you, Virginia. Hello, Sloan. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, sir. Every time you hate oh, it. Oh, Billy, this means so much to a lot of us. Thank you. Hey, don't thank me. I wanted to be here. You should thank the person who made the arrangements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. Go away. Go Get away from me. No. No way, Ty. You'll never get away from me. And look at you. As scarred as I am, and you're going to stay that way. Marked. For life. But I saved your life. You ruined my life. All you say was the half of life you left me. Rebecca? Rebecca can't hear you. I'm keeping her safe. You ruin everything you touch, but not anymore. Because I won't let you. No. Please. Not this time, Todd. No, Rebecca. Just me. Just me. Rebecca, please. Rebecca, help me. Help me, Rebecca, please. Rebecca! Oh, no, you're turning me down, aren't you? The answer's no. You're not gonna marry me. Pal. I, I scared you. I, I, I understand, really. It's, it, you weren't expecting it. It was a surprise. Well, for me, too. I, 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 I didn't, didn't expect to ask you. But a good surprise. I mean, it was um, the best surprise I've ever gotten. It was? Pal, I'm not saying no. I want you to make it official. I want you to put this ring on my finger and I'll look into your eyes and I'll say yes. Yes? Yes. I want to be your wife. I can't do it, Cord. Truth or not, I cannot tell Al that his daddy may not ever be coming home again. He might not ever be a part of a real family whoa, 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 again. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, you're gonna make it through this thing, Luna. I promise you that no matter what happens, I will help you get through this thing, both you and Al. I'm gonna tell you what, I don't know what I would have done these past few weeks if it hadn't been for you. I don't know what I would have done. Okay. It's true, Max. While you've been away from home, Luna and Cord have been falling in love. No. Max, why do you think that they've... They pushed you out of your own business. They deliberately cut you out of your own life. Can't you see that, Max? Court's taken your place. You can't go home anymore. You don't have a home anymore. No, she wouldn't do that to me. Not to me. Max. Not to me! Max, when did all of this start? Your trouble with Luna. When you brought Cord on as a business partner. Before that, you and Luna could work out all of your problems. Is that true or false? All right, yes, yes. Cord got his partnership, that's when things changed. Right. 
started ganging up on you. She always took his side. They were together all the time. And, and any time that you wanted to, to do something with the business, how did they explain saying no to you over and over again? No, the, the, no, no. No, th that doesn't mean Luna and, and Cord... No, they went not like this. Not, not, not behind my back. Max, what did Cord say to you right to your face? I heard him. He said, the best thing for Luna is that if you got out of her life, period. I don't know, maybe... Maybe Cord wants you out so he can move in. Did you see him together? Do you have any proof? No. Max, it's just... It's a gut feeling. I don't have anything that I could show you concrete or point to. No. Except... Except what? Except you have the feeling, too, don't you? You be careful, Blair. This is my wife we are talking about. And nobody makes accusations about her. Do you understand? Max... Do you understand? Yes! I understand, Max. I'm... I'm just trying to protect you, Max. That's all. I'm just trying to protect you. You have any proof? Tell you what. I'm gonna get it for you. But it's not what you're looking for. Max. Because you're, you're wrong. And I'm going to prove it to you. You're, you're wrong. Max! Max! I wanted to be here. No, I, I needed to be here. I never met William, but he made such an incredible difference in my life. In all our lives. It's hard to believe it was already two summers ago, huh? You know, when, when everything happened. Yeah, so many changes, so many lessons learned. We all learned them. I accepted myself. I came out. It was hard. Well, when I uh, think about that summer, I guess I think about it with a big capital S. But as hard as it was, it was worth every minute. I found my way back to my father. Hmm. And I found my way back to both my sons. Andrew, whom I love and admire, and William. Long after his death, I found William. I look back now and I can't believe how I wasted the time I had with him. But you're wiser now. Yes. We all are. Now I feel hopeful that people and things can change. Even though William's been gone for a long time, he's still with me, my son. William, our son. Dad. Lord of mercy, Lord of grace, Lord of light and of life. We are gathered here today on this day of remembrance to pray for and to honor the memory of William Carpenter, my brother, my father's son, and to pray for his namesake, my son, Our son, William Sloan Carpenter. Two Williams, both taken much too soon. Much too soon. There you go, Beth. I'll get that. That's okay. Just don't hey. get him excited. He's almost asleep. <laughs> yeah, at least I'm not contagious anymore. You know, Dr. Price promised me that, that there's no chance of giving the flu to the baby. Yeah, well, the way you've been pushing yourself around here, you might give it back to yourself. You're not cured yet. Yeah, it just, just takes time. Okay. You know, it's almost this little guy's nap time. Why don't you go upstairs and grab one yourself? No, that's... Come on, I can handle it around here. It's real slow. Yeah. 
You don't want to get tired again. Come on, please. I mean, I guess I could sleep a little. Hey, I, um, I've got another... I got another therapy session tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and the shrink says that I'm making real progress. Good. <laughs> and I feel it, too. You've been terrific, Jason. You know, and if, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have known how strong I was inside. And you've stood right by me from the start. And you showed me how to help myself and that I could handle it all and be a good mother, too. Well, you are a good mother, Beth. I'm trying. Well, it's working. Good mother, good person. I mean, you know, it all makes sense. Well, you're right about something else, too. Oh, yeah, twice a week. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think I could use some sleep. Are you sure it's okay? Absolutely, don't worry about it. Okay, and you'll call me if there's a rush down here I or will. something? Okay. What's the matter? Oh, look, I'm... Oh, and I think that the blood just rushed to my head when I, I stood up too fast, I think. Are you sure? Look, I'm, I'm cool. Look, I'm, I'm fine, Jason. I think I just got a little dizzy. I just, I'm just... I'm fine. this day of compassion and awareness, we pray that the morning will come when this disease will be conquered forever. We pray that those who suffer now will soon be able to lead full and healthy lives. We pray for those whose lives have ended cruelly. We cherish their memory. We find strength in them. We find strength to fight. We find strength to love. We find strength to live each precious moment that we are given with joy, kindness, and compassion. For them, for ourselves, let us say amen. I guess that we can put them. Oh, here. Let Ooh. me pick them. Oh, Let me. Give me a <laughs> William, both Williams would be very proud of you. I am. Oh, you. <laughs> you okay, Cassie? I'm fine. Marty and I keep in touch, and um, Mom sends me articles from the banner. I read all about your mother's trial. I truly am sorry for all your troubles. Thank you. Nora started an appeal on my mother's case, and if anyone can get it overturned, she can. Yeah. Hey, you realize you haven't said three words to me since the moment I picked you up at the station now? Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt? No, no, nothing to interrupt, no. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Andrew? Hey. You want a minute? Oh, not alone. What's up? Well, I started to feel something during the prayer. And I made a decision that's important to both of us and to our future. And I've got a great job this summer. Oh, you're staying in New Haven? What kind of job? I'm helping to run a teen hotline. It's work I feel strongly about. And I like having my own place. I'm seeing somebody. Mm -hmm. Plus, it gives mom and dad some more time. Things are better between them. I, I mean, dad even went along with mom taking this job at this adoption agency. She's a lot happier now. Well, she deserves to be, and so do you, Billy. <laughs> all of you. How about you? After all you've been through since I left for Yale. With Todd locked away for good, you can put that all behind you, right? I was hoping that's the way it was gonna be. But... What do you mean? 
I keep trying to focus on what's ahead. But you know what I see when I do? My future is just like this big gray cloud. Rebecca? Rebecca! Help me, Rebecca. Rebecca, help me. Leave her alone. How many people are you gonna hurt? What do you want from me? Leave me alone. Rebecca, please. I need you. Rebecca, save me. Let her go, Todd. No one else. No one else can. I said get your hands off. Help me. No one can help you or save you. It's too late. So stop asking. Stop needing her. How? Don't you know what you're doing? You're killing her, Todd. Wait. Wait! You're not going anywhere. Don't go, Rebecca. Rebecca, don't go! You're mine, Todd. We're stuck with each other. No pardon. No way out. There is no love for us. In this world, with anybody. We will never have love. All we have is each other. No. Forever. No. Forever. No. Forever! No! 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 no. no. Hey. What are you doing here? In the neighborhood. Want to talk? Perfect. <laughs> Almost. Oh, you want me to get down on one knee? Oh, no, no, everybody does that. What I want is a poem, one of yours. That's what I fell in love with. The sound of your soul. I want a poem so that we'll remember this moment. From the world, I chose her. All she has to do is walk in look at me and my heart turns like a rose to the sun feel, Billy. I know it sounds strange, but I've been so consumed with Todd Manning. Hating him and fearing him. I just didn't have time for much else. Now? Now I'm safe. Now I just have the rest of my life. <laughs> That's even scarier. Marty, all, all you have to do now is just live. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Not sure I remember how. The big trick is, don't look for happiness. You know, just, just let it come. Okay? Marty? Yeah. You're right, Billy. Just let it come. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> what is the worst thing that could happen? Max, just go home and, and ask Luna. Court and Luna will deny it, of course. Maybe he buys it, I don't know, maybe he won't. Or still might be suspicious. No, oh, but that's not gonna do me any good. I, I, 
We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of town tonight. We've got to do something here. It's too late to pawn any more jewelry. Take what? There's got to be some more cash here. Somewhere, Dorian, you hidden some cash for emergencies. Where have you got it? Come on, Dorian. Money, money, money. Something. Come on. Yes, I slept with Blair. Why, Max? Why? Hey, I'm sorry about that. Every once in a while, I gotta call in and make at least a no-comment statement to these reporters. Otherwise, they're gonna drive me and the kids crazy with this Todd Manning thing. Are you all right, Luna? Can't take it anymore. Can't go on like this. You can do it, Luna. You can make it. No, I feel like I'm withering up inside, and I can't. I can't do this anymore. Come on, hey, listen to me. Come here. Stand up. You are not gonna fade away. You understand me? Because you were just too strong for that. You're gonna make it through this. I, I know it seems impossible right now, but I'm telling you, you're not gonna give up because I'm not gonna let you. I'm gonna be your, your anchor, okay? So you just hold on as tight as you need to. Just good and tight, you hold on, all right? Let go of her. Max. Get your hands off my wife now. Max, there is no reason. For oh, you just save it, both of you. Blair was right. Man. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it, but here I am looking at it. You were so wrong. Just like she said, you know? Right under my nose. I didn't even know it. I mean, what kind of idiot am I? I mean, first of all, you move in my business, move in on my family, and now her. Did you even notice I was gone, huh? Did you? Stop Did you? This What's right? next, Gordon? What's next? Uh, who, who's sleeping in my bed now, huh? Who's making love to my wife now? Oh, my goddess. I, I can't, I can't even... Max, you are so out of line here. Oh, I'm... Me? Yes, you. You're losing it. You are totally out of control now. Oh, I, I'm losing it. Mm-hmm. I will show you losing it. I will show you out of control, you... Stop this right this minute, oh, Max! Oh, 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 Sue, excuse me, excuse me. It's me again. It's me. Always me, always my How could fault. you think this card is your best friend? He loves you. Well, maybe he just loves you a little bit more, huh? Because ever since he came around, little bit, step by step, since he came into this business... He's been driving us apart. Problem? Gambling problem? You didn't think I had a gambling problem. You didn't think I was out of control. Not until he talked you into it. And that's all he needed, Luna. He just needed that little crack, that little crack to work on to drive that wedge between us. How dare you? How dare you accuse me? I didn't back down on my wedding vows, did I? Hey, I didn't sleep Luna, with... Luna, Luna, Luna. You don't have to dignify this with an answer. All right, Max, yeah, I do love Luna. You know what? I love you, too, because you two are my friends, Max. And it is making me sick to my stomach seeing what you have done to your life, Holden. You know what I hate what you've done to Luna. I hate what you've done to your son. I hate what you've done to yourself. I have done everything. I, I have done my damnedest to give you some kind of a lifeline, you know, to pull you back in, kicking and screaming if need be. But you know what? The only thing you can do to anybody who still has any kind of feelings for you is just spit in our face. I'm in love with you right now, right this minute. And that's not going to ever change. You love me? Yes, I do. And if you'd stop long enough, you could feel it. Just let yourself feel it. If, if Please. You, if you love me, uh, prove it. Well, how? Did you tell me? Throw him out of this house. And tell him not to come back, ever. And then I just might believe you. Just go on. Tell him. Right now. I 
I'm back up. <laughs> what? Listen, listen. You you said you wanted to wait. Remember, you, you told me. I know, but we already made a commitment, and I love you. I love you. I, I, I feel the same way, but... But? I don't want your first time to be like this. Not like this. It's got to be perfect. It already is. Well, let's just leave it this way for now. I love you. Quite a nightmare, I bet. From the sound of it, anyway. You now, sometimes it helps if you talk about it while it's still fresh. Don't you have anything better to do than spy on people? I was working, right down the corridor. Heard you call. Not you. I didn't call you. You sounded scared. I got concerned. Shoot me. You really think you can fix me, Ray? Well, I'm not a mechanic, not a repairman. But I've been around the block, seen some things, done a few. Some of what I've done might help. You never know. Wherever you've been, I don't see you walking around the same blocks I've been on. That's for sure. Don't be so sure, Todd. I've been in your neighborhood, there and back. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll tell you about it. Something your father said before got me thinking. It's so simple, it's nothing I hadn't heard hundreds of times before, but this time. Tell me. Your father said that William's memory was alive to him. That after all these years, he could still hold William in his heart. found a way to love him again. I didn't believe it could be that way. I couldn't bear to keep William's memory alive because of the way it felt. Losing him, it hurt too much. How? It still hurts. But he's there. I can feel him. Our baby. All the joy and the pain. I can feel it and then let it go. And then there's room. I can love again. And I can love him as much as I want for as long as I live. And I will. Our son, Andrew. <laughs> our firstborn. <laughs> I can say goodbye. Goodbye, sweet boy. Beth around? Well, she's sleeping, I hope. She's upstairs. How's she feeling? Well, better, she says. <laughs> Don't you believe her? 
Well, she looks pretty tired to me. Like a week. Still? Still. Um, look, I, I need you two guys to be straight with me, okay? This flu thing, should I still be worrying about it and her? Why not answer your own question, Jason? Her fever's gone, just like the good old doctor said it'd be, right? All her symptoms, the shaking, the red throat, you know, the other stuff. Yeah, but, you know, she says she feels No bad. fever, no symptoms. The worst must be over. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I guess I should get that. <laughs> I guess you will. <sighs> All right. What's the problem? You didn't say two words to Jason, and neither of us has the time to go running outside the hospital for a quick cup of coffee. There's something wrong. What is it, Ben? One of my flu patients died. Flu? Mrs. Stanislaus, older woman who'd had her flu shot. Now, okay, I know what happens. I know flu's a danger in elderly patients, but... Something strange. There were indications of severe neurological damage sustained just before her death. That doesn't make any sense. The two can't be related. They're two separate... You think this ties in with the flu somehow? I don't know. It's too early. There's nothing concrete. But my gut feeling is don't shrug it off. It's serious. I get it. I'm planning to keep a close watch on this thing, Sheila. Just in case. <sighs> you stay well now, right, Billy? And thank you, Virginia. I'll see you on Sunday. As usual. And, and I'll see you around Christmas or Thanksgiving or oh, something. Oh, like sooner than that, I hope. <laughs> Take care. Bye. I'm sorry, Ed, but I know that you have other people on your mind except for me, but... No. After today, I, I think, no, I know that I'm ready. Ready? Ready for what? The next step. The real question, I guess, is, are you? Well? You honestly want me to throw out your best friend out of our lives forever? Your best friend, not mine. Well, I'm not going to do it. No, no. No. No, Cord. How could you? How could you stand there and ask me to... How could you let Blair Daimler brainwash you into believing the two people who love you most who would never, ever betray you? How could you accuse us? How I learned how. From being shut out and pushed away. Oh, you are the one that did the pushing. You pushed out of us out of your lives in exchange for a deck of cards. You are to blame, not me, not Cord. You are. Well, whoever's to blame, one thing's very clear here. I'm not welcome. I don't belong here. Max. This is not my home. There's no place for me. I... Cord, hey, you took my family, my business, my house, and now... Now you got my wife, heart, and soul, so it's only fitting that you have, you have this. Yeah. I'll just end up pawning it, right? For money, for gambling. Max, what? Turns out it wasn't worth much, was it? Diamonds, and rubies, and none of them spindle. I need small money, small money, gas money, plane, train, bus money. Oh, 
something. There's gotta be something. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta get this open. Oh. Oh, Dorian. You beautiful, beautiful pack rat, you. Oh, my just the hell since. Oh, my gosh. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Max. Hey. Left the door open for me, huh? Yeah, you um, left without your keys, so I, I didn't know when you were going to be coming back. Well, here I am. Now you know. Uh, how are things going? Oh, uh, things are going fine. I was just actually doing a little straightening up, but um, how are things with you? Or should I ask? Well, no, you, you don't need to ask, because uh, you already know. You were right all along. I, uh, I went there, and there was, there was cord with Luna. And they were close. They were real close, just like you said. So he's uh, taken over my place, and me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm shucks out of luck. I, uh, I'm starting over from scratch. No uh, money, no marriage, nothing. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I. I wish things were different. Yeah, I don't. I mean, uh, truth is truth, right? I wanted to know. Now I do. So, uh, what now? What are you? What are you gonna do? I don't want to stay here. That's for sure. Well, where then? I don't know. I don't know. Some place. Some place far away. Some. It's like, like home. What? Home. In Texas. That's where I want to go. That's where we're going to go. My father's ranch in Sweetwater. You and me. What next step? What are you talking about? I'm finally ready to take it. Emotionally, I'm ready to consider adoption. Adoption? Please. It's time to move forward, to, to move on and accept that the doctor said that we can't have a child of our own. And if you feel the same way that I do, I'd like to go down to that agency first thing tomorrow and talk to Virginia Douglas. And, She's working there now. Yes, Billy mentioned that to me. So if you agree, and if they agree, then I'd like to adopt a baby as soon as we possibly can, Andrew. Are you ready? Are you ready to adopt? Rebecca, I've been thinking about what you said last time you came here to visit. You told me I shouldn't give in to this place. If I wanted to hold on and keep my soul, you said I'd find a way. Well, it turns out you're right. And there is a way for me, a way to keep going. And it's you. As long as you're with me, I know I can hold all the pieces together. You give me a reason to fight for myself. Just as long as you never give up on me, I won't give up either. That's my one hope. The one wish I've still got for the future, I'm begging you. Begging, Rebecca, please. Don't give up on me. Please don't give up. Don't ever give up. <laughs>